my family really likes chicken parm. And I started making it in a way that saves a lot of time and still comes out oh so delicious. Now normally I would take a raw chicken breast, season it, then season the flour and fry it till it's nice and crispy, right? But ain't nobody got time for that. So what I did is I went to one of my favorite grocery stores, which is Wegmans, and I picked up this breaded chicken breast that is perfect for chicken parmesan. And it makes great chicken sandwiches too. The instructions are really easy to follow. You put it in a pan and place it in your preheated oven and bake for 20 minutes. That's 10 minutes each side. While the chicken breast is in the oven, get your pasta started. And then it's time to make your easy homemade marinara sauce. So at the beginning of this video, remember when I said I found a way to save time? Yep, I found a way to save time on homemade marinara sauce. You see this? It's homemade. It wasn't made in my home, <laughs> but it was made in somebody's home. So yeah, it's homemade marinara sauce. Now I do add a couple of things to this, you know, just to put my touch on it. I chop up some onions and saute it. And to it, I'm going to add garlic. And then I add some seasoning like salt, pepper, maybe some Italian herbs. I then add the sauce. And now it's homemade for real. After 20 minutes, your chicken is ready and it's time to top it with your sauce along with some cheese. Most recipes call for mozzarella. Uh, once before I was out of mozzarella, so I had some sliced provolone and I added it. And since then we've been doing uh, provolone ever since and we, we just seem to like it better that way. I also picked up some prosciutto and added to one of the chicken breasts. Prosciutto really gives it a great flavor. Now with the cheese, you determine how much cheese you wanna add, two slices, three slices, whatever you wanna add to it. Now turn the oven to broil and put it back in. And when you put it in, you don't wanna put it on the top shelf of the oven, maybe the second or third, and there it is. Here's another batch that I did, and this time I let the cheese get a little toasty on top. Now it's time to plate it. I put the pasta in a bowl, I put some sauce, then I lay the chicken parm on top. I had some fresh basil that I chopped up and sprinkled it on top, you know, to make it look pretty. <laughs> and that's how I make chicken parm. Please leave a comment and tell me what you think, or if you have any suggestions, let me know how I can make it better.